All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we are out here at Payne's Valley, and I got my man, Luke Kwan. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Uh, yeah, I played for two years on Corn Ferry Tour, played golf at Oklahoma at OU, one on PJ Tour China. I was just playing PJ Tour Latin America this past year, so I've been playing a whole lot of pro golf. I'm, I'm gonna be kind of focusing a little bit more on videos this year, so. Yeah, yeah, so guys, real quick, we're gonna be doing 18 holes out here at Payne's Valley. The first nine holes is gonna be on my channel, straight up stroke play. The next nine holes, you guys are gonna go over to Luke's channel. I will, I'll link that in the description. We're gonna, we're gonna grind it out here, play 18 holes, see what we can shoot straight up. Straight, straight up, up, stroke play. Straight We've been up, playing some play. weird games in good good, but this I know how to play. First hole here, guys, 483 yards. We're playing these tiger tees all the way back, so it is kind of a tough course. Let's flip the tee, here we go. Flip the tee, flip the tee. Ah, it's gonna be tough to be Quan today. He is uh he's an absolute robot when it comes to ball striking. Man does not miss, so. Copy paste, Grant. Copy paste. Oh yeah. V. Every tee shot. That did not go too far, but first swing of the day there. We've been playing so much golf this week. This is kinda this is during Goo Goo Week, so we 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 had a day. We were actually supposed to go out on the lake, but Quan and I wanted to get a match in. We're that competitive. This is serious. Oh yeah, there's money. That is a start, guys. We are right next to each other. We got Colin playing in the group today. Let's get a little celebrity shot. We're gonna get a dual camera action oh, going gosh. here. Oh, oh my goodness. Colin. Colin. Dude, I actually was feeling so much pressure there. I was like, if this, the, the first shot of my video, if it goes bad, then <laughs> this whole thing was never gonna be seen again. So. <laughs> All right, guys, well, that's a solid little start there for Luke and I. I'm gonna have to play some good golf to even compete with Luke, I'll tell you that right now. I gotta say though, guys, real quick, shout out to Big Cedar Lodge for having us out here in Payne's Valley. This place is just so cool. And I think there's like a giant waiting list to even get a tea time out here. So we're very lucky to be out here even and filming especially. How far do we have here, Colin? 200 playing 94. I'm gonna go with the six iron, guys. Oh, I towed it. All right. Complete miss hit there, but it was a good miss hit to the center of the green. Got 94 yards. I think it's downhill a little, little bit, like 84. A little bit into the wind off the right. I'm going to hit a 7 iron. Hopefully it doesn't mess with anything near the back edge. Holy pure. It's kind of weird. It's fine, though. It's fine, though. We got putts at him. I've played a lot of golf. I just got to mentally try... My heart is today to compete with Luke. I just know that he's not going to shoot above even par. I know that for sure. So I might. Here we go. First putt of the day, guys, is like 50 some feet here. Probably 60 feet left to right. Looks pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. Oh boy, that broke off at the end. Now I got some work. I got like five feet for the par. I've had a simil similar putt like this in the in the actual good good videos. If you guys haven't been watching those, that will be linked in, in the description as well. Oh boy. Well, <laughs> we both got some work. For some reason, this first hole, it can either play like super short and easy, or sometimes it's like a six iron in. I just don't, I, maybe it's it's probably a lot to do with the wind. Wind's a thing, you know? It exists. Ooh. Wow, what a stroke that was. <laughs> yes, sir. Woo! I am really surprised I have a one-shot lead right now on coin. Yeah, it's only one hole. We only got 17 more to go. We are onto a 200 and like 55 yard par three. It's a beast. Straight downhill. Place is just magical though. Quan said it's 270 playing 250. This is one of the longer par threes I've ever played. So I got my hybrid here straight down. Whoa. Well, that's a big hill there. Kick. All right. I'm gonna go with the two iron here. Anything on the green is good on this hole. That's so pure. Oh, 
Oh yeah. Center of the green. What a shot. I, I strive to get that golf swing. <laughs> that shot was pretty good. A little two iron there in the middle of the green. That's all you can ask for on this hole. Here we go, guys. We got a decent break here. We're going down to this green. We kind of just gonna hit a flop shot here. Land it somewhere short of the pin and let it roll up. It's like a left kick. But what the left kick? Down. Wasn't that? It was all right. Well, we got a putt. I would like to not three putt again. This is definitely a putt that you could potentially do it though. It's got a little bit of. You got to pay attention to this guy. <laughs> I love the way Kwan just talks to himself about. I don't know, he just gets all the negative thoughts out over the ball. He says what everybody's thinking, but they don't want to say. That's Quan. Oh my. All right, let's go. Give it a chance. Okay, well you gave it a chance. Whoa. Here we go, guys. I got this for the bogey. Oh, man. Oh, no. I'm going to cry. So that's uh, two over for both of us after the first two holes. But the thing is, here we go. So we are on to a drivable par four, and we are on to a par five that's super gettable. So if we play these next two holes good, one of us should get to even. We should go birdie birdie. But hey, that's a lot of shoulds. All right, guys. This is not really drivable for me today, so I'm gonna go quick here. Yeah, we're just playing ready golf. Yeah, we're playing ready golf. Here we go. Copy oh, paste. Dude, that could go in the Copy paste. This would go, I think. It's gotta go so hard. That's fine. Oh, that was so pure. Maybe set the monkey. The bunker. All right, guys. We got so much rain. I like. I'm now just realizing it. Everything's super wet. So this pin is kind of tucked to the front. Probably have like 50 yards. Oh my! Sit down. Got a little too much speed on that thing. I tried to open the face, and uh, yeah, I opened it, but then I closed it. If he missed that flag stick, it would have spun. He probably would have had 10, 12 feet, but that actually just hurt him really bad. Up the hill, left to right. Let it fall in there. Never got it high enough. One is up now. Once again, we both came down this little ridge here. Ideally, this is not a hole we neither of us want to par, but it happened. Those were just kind of really mediocre approach shots. All right, here you go. Well, guys, we're two over now. Quan and I through three holes onto a really reachable par five. Par five. We can party this. Let's get it back. We got a lot of golf to play. It's actually Luke's turn again, but these people are right over this hill, so I'm going to hit. He gets a lot further than me. He's not missed on this whole this whole trip. All right, let's go. We're gonna have probably like a six iron, five iron in. We can easily make a birdie or even an eagle. Get it back to even par. <laughs> what a shot, Kwan. Little butter cut right down the left side. Oh, that one was deep. Good. That was a little power fade. We hit a good drive down here. 205 yards to the pin. I'm gonna hit a nice little five iron here. Low groove maybe, slightly thin. Low groove, you're right. Yeah, it works though. Might come down the hill maybe? Yes. Oh, just barely. Here's it coming, here it comes, Claude. Oh, oh that one's nice. That was close to getting Let's stuck go. up there. <laughs> Let's go. We got, I think we had the angle up by the green. Chris got that, but it almost stopped up on top of the hill there and rolled all the way down. We got that for Eagle. That'll get us back to even par. Come on, guys. All right, we got 168 actual down to 163. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna have to hit this nine on a little soft. Take off a little bit on it. No, oh, no. Just pulled it a little bit. God dang it. That's fine. Left side of the green. Uh, 
this is golf summed up to a T. I've been playing pretty good all week. Get out here. It's like I don't even know what I'm doing. Two over par through three. So that's every day when you wake up, you may wake up and you're like, the club feels foreign and the next day it feels amazing. I just, it, you'll never understand it. That's just how golf is. But I feel like, I feel like we're still going to come back. Yeah, we'll come back. There's plenty of easy holes out here. We've got a lot of scoring opportunities. Guys, we got that for the eagle. Quan's over here. You he actually hit a decent shot. I mean, it's pin high. He only has 30 feet. Birdie. I guess it's not terrible. Grant's got a like four feet for eagle here. It's a nice shot into this green. Yes, sir. Let's go. Eagle and a birdie, guys. That's we played this whole three under, Quan and I. Wow. Coming up to this par three. Look at this hole, our fifth hole of the day. Just like this place. There's a cabin over here. You're into an island green. Everything's perfectly manicured. I'm telling you, this is like fairy tale land for golfers. If you ever are, if you're an avid golfer and you're looking for a place to just get away with your buddies, I mean, I don't think there's really a better place. But 188 yards here. Colin Ross vlogs. Um, Struggling a little bit out here. If there's not a video on my channel, you know what happened. <laughs> leave, leave that, leave that part in. If there's no video on my channel, I shot 107. <laughs> Thin and everything, kind of missing it, but they're going straight. Like, I love when my miss hits are still going somewhat straight, but I truly have not hit a pure shot yet. Oh my god. That's gonna work, it's thin too. Yeah, it's still really... well, Dude, we literally just hit the same shot. Sure. Oh my gosh. We both hit thin, weak shots. Not what you wanna see, but we got putts at them. We're dancing. I'm giving Luke an absolute perfect read here. We both just swiped, like thin swiped our shots next to each other. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. A little right to left. What the? Sorry. That just stopped on the down slope. Where's the right? Wow. What a All shot. Right. I still cannot get the ball to the hole. Well, I, I guess, know. I guess on the last hole I got it to the hole, but I wanted to get like a foot pass. I can't really quite do it. Can't trust hitting it that hard out here. There you go. Nice. Here we go. It's a par. Juan for his par. Nice putt. He Whoa. snuck it in the left corner. All right, guys. After the first five holes, I'm even par. Quan is one over. We've settled into this round. We're kind of dial it in now. I know it's going to be a pretty dramatic finish. It's going to come right down to the end. We're going to play nine holes on Grant's channel and then the rest of the nine, the second nine on my channel. Again, link, link for that will be in the description. Shout out to Grant for making this happen for us. All right. Here we go. 444 yards for our sixth hole here. It's straight away par four. This fairway is pretty big, so we should be able to hit it. Copy paste. This is ridiculous. On a course like this with massive fairways, he's pretty much going to be in a fairway every single hole. That one actually got some rollout. I was told not too long ago that I'm hitting a little bit too up on my driver, so I tried to actually hit down on that for fun, and it like took all the spin off. I am not quite copy paste as Grant, Grant is, so I gotta kind of pay attention on these tee shots. So I don't are, those are some lies. Those are some lies. Quan <laughs> is very copy and paste. Holy pure, dude. That's just different. That was nice. That's just different. Now Colin's gonna outdrive us. Oh my goodness, that was deep. <laughs> Grant, you cut you cut yourself a good one here. You you yeah. right up there with me. No, we're right next to each other, pretty much. 120 yards here, into the wind. I think I'm gonna hit a pitching wedge, knock down pitching wedge. Uh, a little tuggy. Pin ice, just kind of tugged it. You can't do anything now. It's 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 gone. Just let it go. Same shot. Just hopefully slightly better result. Hopefully. Dude, that is different. That is different. Oh my goodness. Quan, that was beautiful. The way he just like, 
Quan just like, I don't know, something about his finish. He finished so low and left and just kept the angle. Guys, Quan is basically, he's in for birdie. Pretty much, not yet. I mean, he's got three feet. <laughs> so I got a left to righter here. I feel like I'm due for a bomb. I don't know mm. why. This would get me to one under. Quan. That had the look to it. How did that just... Let's just start going back left. Oh, whoa, that kept on going. I'm sorry, went guys. back. There it is. Nice. Let's go, baby. Good that was huge. Beautiful. Birdies are good. Got one more. One more birdie there. I'm back to even. Grant is also at even. What did I tell you guys? No more pillow fighting. We're, we're, in, we're back to business here. It's intense golf now. We're both even par. Trying to shoot in the 60s. Here we go. Seven pole of the day. 368 yards. Quan and I are both even par now. Straight up the hill. This is a beautiful hole. Not much there, just a bunker in the middle of the fairway, so. Probably okay, it's a little bit to the right, but. I just caught the speed slot and it rolled up the hill pretty far. That's perfect. Oh, and is at the bunker in the middle of the fairway. Literally right at the bunker. Who put that there? Oh my gosh. What? It flew into it. Perfectly placed. Whoever, yeah, shout out to whoever put that bunker there because I've been in that bunker this week too. Perfectly placed. I mean, you're great. Was that Tiger that put that there? Yeah, it was, it was Eldridge. <laughs> yeah, it was Eldridge. <laughs> ah, it was Tiger. He knew what he was doing to you, Con. Hey! Right in the bunker, baby. <laughs> Dude, that was pounded. Bunker, baby. I've never hit out a fairway bunker in my life, actually. I've never played golf. All right. <laughs> 73 plus 6. Playing six yards uphill. That looks a little deep. So deep. My wedges are horrendous right now, but I'm still even par. That's a disgrace, guys. Hit a great drive, about 77 to 80 yards up the hill, and I fly it, I think, over the green. Here we go. Quan is in the bunker here. How far do you have? We got 76. That's not a whole lot of wind. Maybe a touch of help. I'm gonna try to play at the number here. Oh, that's good. Oh. No way. It came up short. He's plugged up in the green side bunker, guys. I thought that was perfect. Wow, those were really bad shots for such an easy hole. All right, guys, walking up to the green. I am all the way back there. Quan is down here in the bunker. He's got a fried egg. Oh my goodness. What a shot, Quan. See, I usually take a pretty big swing, I'm not gonna lie. I usually square the face, but I take a decently big swing. He just like barely took that back and popped it right out. That was really impressive. No picture. That's a par. Woo, baby. We got the putter rolling this week, I gotta say. Keeps me at even par. Nice putt. What a beauty. That was fast, oh. too. I escaped that one. For sure. That's for sure. That was not a good lie. Not a good wedge shot to end up there, but got out of there with a par from a plug, plug lie. Can't be mad about that. Here we go. Eighth hole of the day. 567 yards. Par five. It's kind of straight away. If you hit a good drive, you should have like a hybrid or an iron in. Quan, if he hits a good drive, I'll have like a six iron in. Dude, if I do that one more time, that's just holy hell. That's fine, actually. Probably short of that bunker. Oh, the camera can't see it. That's fine. That's fine. Over that bunker on the left. Is that carry? I don't even know what that is. Oh, yeah. We will see very shortly if someone will get it to under par. I think for sure someone will birdie. We're both in the fairway on a par five. One of us should get it to at least one under par after this, so. Yeah, if, if we don't do that, you might as well just never watch another video. <laughs> All right, guys, I am way back here, 271 to the pin. I don't know how close I'm gonna get this three wood, but we're gonna give it a whack. Oh, and it's at the pin. A little bit right. Dude, it's 
on the green. I can tell on this thing. Chris is see, dialed. That's one of the best three woods I've hit in a while. I'm not gonna lie. From 271 to hit the green, so uh, I'll take that every day. Well, um, Quan is way up here. 240, down eight yards. That's about right. I think it's a four iron. Holy Please. missile! Played at the pin. Oh, it's just short. All right, I'll go first. Quan's getting ready. He's gonna chip his just short. From 271, when I hit a three wood anywhere on the green, I am like ecstatic. All right. Kind of pulled it. Not gonna lie. I'm being honest with you guys. I'm not gonna lie. I'm being honest. Simple, up and down. Hopefully I get it in there nice and tight for a easy little tap and birdie, hopefully. Go, go, go. Oh my God, it was cracking the whole way. There you go. Nice pause. Never a doubt. That takes us both to one under par. And that means none of you guys can click off this video. Yeah, now you actually have to keep watching. <laughs> You have to actually watch it double because I said if we even have if we don't have one birdie, but we actually had two. So then you have to watch it to the end. I feel like I feel like soon Quan's gonna be like, hopefully I don't shank this before I hit it. <laughs> hopefully I don't top it. Hopefully I don't thin it. I, I I will say after being two over through the first two holes for us, it was nice. Those two, first two holes was just we're just warming up. We didn't get yeah. a little warm up session on the range or anything this morning. So those two first holes. We should warm be up. three under technically. And now we're fine. Yeah, we should yeah. be. We should be sprinting by now. Yeah. Final hole on my channel. Once again, guys, I'll say it again. The next nine holes are going to be on Luke Kwan's channel. Let's see how we can finish. It's one of the, I think one of the harder holes out here. Yeah, it is. It's a weird one. Mm. That's going to be short. That's all good. You hit it kind of weird. Oh, yeah. I like it though. That's the one thing, like I say it, I'll say it again, when the misses are going straight, it's a great way to play golf. Nice shot. It is ripped over that bunker. Beautiful shot. The thing is with Luke's double crosses, they just start left and they stay left. They don't curve. Like it's not, he doesn't pull it and then it draws, it just stays there. Here we go guys. Hundred. And 48 yards, I got a nine iron. We're perfectly fine, just short of this bunker. I'm gonna roll down that hill. Oh boy. I think I rolled down left of the green. I'm gonna be down in the rough there. You hit a decent drive like that, you're in the fairway, have a prime shot, and you just do that. It's just kind of annoying, but gotta get that figured out still. All right, we got 128. This is big. This is a big momentum changer if he can birdie oh, this. Oh, that's a lot of Yep. Right. Oh, that's go. so good. Go. 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 Great shot, right. Quan. I think that's good. Dude, I need to figure out how you hit your wedges in those knockdowns. That, see, I, I can right there identify my weaknesses just by playing with Quan and seeing that right there, those 130 knockdown shots, I'm struggling with. I'm just not rotating enough. He hits those and he, his body just keeps moving through the impact and it's just super shallow. I gotta get there. It's kind of our bread and butter as pros. If, you, if you're not hitting them close with wedges, when else are you gonna hit them close? You exactly. Gotta, you gotta get, take, take advantage of those wedge shots. Oh, and it's the most frustrating thing. Like I'm hitting good shots and then that's where I lose the stroke. So yeah. I know I, I'm identifying that and now I can go work on my wedges harder than ever. All right, the reason why I was saying go is because I don't know if you guys can see it. There's kind of a, a ridge right here. It's kind of going right down this way. Funnels off the green. I think that's what Grant's ball did. Kind of caught that ridge. Now he's off the green. No. Oh. I tried to go in. Oh my, I thought that was going to turn left at the end. <laughs> I wish I wasn't looking at the camera. Cause I would be able to see which, which way that ball went. <laughs> I don't really know right now. Would have been nice to know. I think it's going a little left to right up the hill. It should be a nice putt to make. No. It broke right. off to the bit. right. Right at the end. We finished with two pars there. We are both one under. That wraps it up for my part, guys. Yeah, shout out to Chris for caddying and shout out to Colin for helping out with the filming. Thanks, thanks, Big Cedar Lodge for having us out here. Yeah, I mean, we played some solid golf so far, so 
you guys did enjoy that, slap that like button. I'm trying to compete right now with a pro. And he's keeping up. I'm keeping up. I'm he's trying. Some good golf. I'm trying my hardest right now, and we're doing decent. We're doing decent. So, once again, head over to Luke's if you guys want to see the last nine holes. But until next time, guys, peace out. Thank you.